me to sue the son of a f***ing county sheriff because he arrested my kid on a false warrant? A Utah county commissioner is accused of using his authority to intimidate law enforcement when his son is arrested for an outstanding warrant. What do you want me to do? I want you to turn him loose. I can't turn him loose, Bruce. Who can? Nobody can. He's been arrested for a warrant. The courts can. And the warrant's false. Huh? The warrant's the not warrant's false. false. The, warrant's the incident stems from a November 25th traffic stop when Kenneth Adams was pulled over for failure to signal and stop fully at a stop sign. How's it going? I'm good. What did I do wrong? Good. So the reason I stopped you is you didn't come to complete stop the stop sign? I did. And then you didn't have your turn signal on? I sure did. Body camera video shows San Juan County Sheriff's deputies speaking with Adams, who maintains he did not violate any rules. Okay. I know for a fact I had my turn signal on. Okay. That's why I was surprised you were pulling me over, but whatever. When officials run Adams' ID, they find a warrant out for his arrest. Walk back up there. I'm going to step out. Well, no, he's going to place an arrest for a warrant. He has an active warrant. As officials reapproach the vehicle, Adams becomes argumentative. All right, can I, can I get you to step out of the vehicle with me? What are you doing? No, what, what's going on? Seriously, what's going on? You have a warrant. How the f do I have a warrant? Adams tells officers the warrant is a mistake, saying he already appeared in court. I don't know how you have a warrant, but it's on our system right now. You have an active warrant out of 7th District Court here in San Juan. I've gone to, no, that's incorrect. Okay, I've gone well, it's to on our system right now. Well, you I'm not going to argue with you about it. Me. You're going to go to jail tonight on that warrant, okay? Um, no, I'm not. Yes, I, you I are. I don't, excuse me, like, no. Okay. This is, dude, this, this Mr. is absurd. Mr. Adams, you do have an active warrant for your arrest. And, so. who, and well, who, who issued the warrant, though? The, the courts the have court. issued. For, for what, though? Because I've gone to court for everything. There should not be an active warrant for me anywhere, dude. Eventually, Adams agrees to get out of the vehicle. After that, he calls his mom. What's that? I'm calling my parents. Okay, okay. you can call them. I'm going to put you in touch real quick. I'm getting arrested. Apparently, they think there's a warrant out for my arrest, mom, and there's not. But I'm out by Eastland. I'm getting arrested. Eastland. And they're arresting me right now. The cops are, mom. Who else would arrest me? Adams repeatedly tells his mom the call is not a joke. I'm going to jail. Mom, they are handcuffing me right now. I, I've asked them for the warrant and they, they, won't, they don't tell me anything about a search warrant. So. Using what? Nothing, not okay. using anything, Mom. They, they're the arresting up. me because they said there was a warrant for me. Okay, I'm hanging the phone up. No, I'm not kidding, Mom. Sheriff's deputies escort Adams to the back of a squad car where he continues to ask about the warrant. Well then, my question is, is who? <laughs> this is a joke. This is seriously the biggest joke I've ever heard of. When you when you when you turned on your lights, I knew there was some bull going on. on. <laughs> issued October 13th. For what? This year. It's when the warrant was issued. For what? It has some felony charges, burglary charges. Dude, I've been to court for that. Yeah. No, no, I've been to court for that. All right, listen to this officer. Look that way real quick so you can see that on. Um. Well, if I've been to court, then that then why am I getting arrested? I don't know. I don't know what all the court's purposes are for filing the warrant. All I know is there is a warrant, okay? So that's going to be up to you and the courts to be able to figure that out, all right? Officials eventually read off the list of charges against him. You want to know the charges? Yeah, I do. So it has two burglary charges listed, a theft charge, uh -huh. mischief. That's all my old case. Uh, three charges of burglary of a vehicle and yeah. criminal trespass. Yeah, what, what, why is that floating up now? Adams then asks whether someone can pick up the vehicle for him. Is this your vehicle? It's my rental, yeah. Your rental? Okay. So can my parents at least come and get it? Sheriff's deputies then call Adams' mom about the vehicle. Hey, this is Deputy Giddings. How you doing? Good. Good. I, well, I know. I'm sorry. We were just calling to let you know that the car that Kenneth has, if you guys are willing to come pick it up, it's over here about mile post 6 on 491. After Adams is taken to the county jail, his father, San Juan County Commissioner Bruce Adams, arrives on the scene. What do you want me to do? Well, we're letting you take the car so we don't have to impound it. I don't want it impounded. I know, that's why we're letting you take it. Deputy Wyatt Holyoke wrote in his report that Bruce Adams was, quote, trying to use his influence as a county commissioner to intimidate him. He also stated that Bruce Adams swore at him multiple times, demanding to see his son's warrant. Okay, where's Kenneth? He's in jail. 
They took him. You already took him to jail? They took him to jail, and I stayed here with the car. Why? For a warrant. Who do I call to find out? To why find I... out the warrant? You're a police officer. Tell me who I call to find out why he's in jail. Deputy Holyoke then calls his boss, asking whether he's allowed to show Adams his son's warrant. Hey, boss. Hey, so I got Bruce Adams here. Um, Braden took Kenneth to jail on a warrant. Can I show Bruce the warrant? What's the protocol there? Yeah, he's pretty mad. Eventually, the deputy is given the okay to show Adams the warrant. I gotta be careful with this stuff, Bruce. You understand that? Okay, that's the warrant. Okay, so it says warrant status active, offense burglary, burglary theft, criminal mischief, burglary of a vehicle, burglary of a vehicle, burglary he's of a vehicle. He's already been to court over that. Criminal trespass, normal 7th he's District Court, Monticello. Court. Bruce, we don't have anything to do with that. All we know is that the is that the warrant issues a current that the court issues a warrant. That's all we know. Adams pushes back, saying his son has already been to court and accepted a plea of abeyance. Well, he's been to court and been charged. He he has a plea in abeyance on all that. I I don't know, Bruce. I have no idea. Who knows? The courts. You can the courts. I can't, get, no. I can't get to the court until Monday. Right. Because of a son of a. In false arrest? It's, you saw the warrant right there. I, yeah, even, I showed you the warrant. Court, he's been charged with that, and he has a plea in abeyance on all of it. Adams then asked the deputy to release his son from jail. What do you want me to do? I want you to turn him loose. I can't turn him loose, Bruce. Who can? Nobody can. He's been arrested for a warrant. The courts can. And the warrant's false. Huh? The warrant's the not warrant's false. false. The warrant's After that, he threatens to pursue legal action against the county. You right want me to sue the son of a County Sheriff because he arrested my kid on a false warrant? <laughs> the warrant's right there. Kenneth Adams was released from jail days after his arrest and the warrant was later withdrawn. Long Crime Network reached out to Bruce Adams for a comment on this story but have not yet heard back. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.